Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my haul from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale. Now everything is in one box because it was so many boxes. So, yeah. But anyway, I did recently hit platinum at Ulta, which is a little sad but also kind of great. So I got free shipping on everything, which was pretty amazing because last year I really had to pick and choose because I didn't want to spend six dollars on shipping like every day for 21 days so i didn't buy things every day because honestly i just wasn't impressed with everything that happened and one of my one of the days that i really really wanted to hit was the 16th for the dose of colors lip collection um and i missed it because that was um like my sorority's day party and just a lot of things were going on that day so i missed that day and i was really upset um, because I wanted the lip colors and then some other things and I know this is a little bit late, but I've just had a lot going on and I finally Got everything in because it did take a while for everything to ship and get here especially with Irma and everything else so um, If you are ready, I'm ready and let's just get started with this haul I'm, I don't know what days everything was on sale. So I'm just gonna go through everything in this box and at the end of it That'll be that. So the first thing I got was the perfect, the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in Light. I've heard so many people talk about this powder and that it's like amazing that it looks like Laura Mercier on a new level. Yeah, so I'm just really, really excited to try this out. I've heard it's like so perfect. Is it a little bit more on the expensive side? Um, so we'll see if I keep it. Um, I also recently got the Too Faced Urethral Setting Powder as well, so hopefully um, I like both of them and we'll see and I won't have to get a new setting powder for a while. Next thing I got was I did get a backup of my Benefit Roller Lash. I actually, last Christmas, this past Christmas, I got um, a mini tube and just to try out because I'd heard a lot of things but I didn't know if I would like it because last time I got a Benefit Mascara I got the They Are Real and I hated it. So I didn't know but I ended up really loving the Roller Lash so I did purchase a full size. Um, the next thing I got was the Benefit Cabral. So I don't own any pomades and I got shade 1 because it was the cool tone and I don't know how light this is going to be. Um, so it looks kind of light. Um, the nice thing about this product is you do get like a brush as well. So I'm kind of excited to play with this and kind of see what it's going to be like on my brows. Um, as you can see it's a little bit light. But um, I'll probably make it work with some powder. But I never tried any kind of cream product for my brows before pomade or anything. And it was on sale and I know this one is supposed to be really good so I thought I would pick it up. I also picked up this moisturizing seaweed body scrub because in case you guys don't know, during 21 Days of Beauty, Ulta, oh that smells so good, the Ulta collection has different things go on sale for like $3 or $5 or $6 or whatever throughout the 21 days and each week it's a new like kind of thing. So at one point it was like soaps and body scrubs or something I think. And so I did pick up this body scrub to try. I think it was only like $6 and it actually is like $18. I almost got all three of them. Then I figured that that's just overkill and I'll see if I like the formula first. And the next thing I got was not actually on sale. But I had heard about it and I decided just to take advantage of the free shipping and pick it up as well. This is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I've heard a lot of really, really good things. It doesn't have any kind of special brush really. But I am excited to try it out. I've heard a lot of people kind of rave about this mascara. So I'm excited to try it. The next thing I got, same deal. Wasn't on sale, but I did take advantage of free shipping. And I have had really some really bad breakouts this past like two months or something. I don't really know what's going on with my skin. I don't know if it's because of my weight gain or what. But the um, the drying lotion by Mario, Mario Badescu, and I did pick up as well. Um... So far, I think it's really good. I think it honestly might just be calamine lotion. Um, no, it's alcohol, water, and then calamine. But, like, I think they are similar. It does smell really nice. Um, so if you're battling, like, pretty bad acne, I don't think this works very well for cystic acne. But if you have, like, a lot of whiteheads, um, this would work really well because it just dries everything out. The next thing I got were 
um, similar to skincare, some Clarisonic brush heads because they were buying one, get one free, and I'm about needing one anyway. Actually, I probably needed a new one like a few months ago, but you know how that happens. So I got um, the Radiance one, which is the regular one that comes with your Clarisonic, and then I also got the Deep Pore Head um, just to help get anything out of my pores. Like pr I'll probably use this one like once a week or so. So got those two to try out. I also got the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel, which I've heard some good things. I've heard some mixed, re mixed reviews about this. I've heard that it works really well at the beginning and then stops working after a while. Um, but I will try it out and let you know. The next thing I got was similar. It was like the Ulta brushes were on sale. So I did pick out, pick up um, a buffing brush because I just like want to find that foundation brush that really just works. So I picked up this Ulta buffing brush. Um, I also got the Ofra highlighter in Blissful. Rodeo Drive was also on sale and it was just, it was, it's so gold and I have so many highlighters that are that gold and this one's just like a little bit more champagne-y colored. So I did pick up this one and I did not get the Rodeo Drive one or the um, multiple one because I just don't have a use for that. Um, but I did pick up Blissful. Um, the next couple things I got were also not on sale but I picked them up anyway um I believe these were in store so I picked up the Bastier dry shampoo plus for blonde hair because I have seen a couple of these but I've mostly seen them for brunette hair so I was interested to see how this worked and I just got the travel size um I also picked up the Ardell faux mink lashes um because, you know, mink, mink lashes are just horrible to the animals. Like, minks, like, it's so bad what they do to them. Um, and so, and these are really pretty and they were really inexpensive. So I picked these up also at Ulta. And then I also got the NYX Total Control, um, Total, yeah, the Total Control Drop Foundation. Um, just because I wanted to try it out. It looked really interesting. So I picked that up as well. Um, this I got, this is the number seven lash impact intense volume mascara and this was just a free gift because I picked up, um, this, which is the number seven stay perfect foundation. Um, Kathleen lights really raves about this. So I really wanted to try it out and I do like the lift and luminate foundation as well. The next product I picked up was the essence pure nude highlighter. i would heard some pretty amazing things about this. Not that I really need any other highlighters in my life, but I just heard that it was like really pretty. So I picked it up. It was super cheap because it's Essence. Um, and then the last two things I picked up during 21 Days of Beauty were the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the color Taupe. And currently, for those of you who don't know, I use the Taupe Anastasia Brow Wiz or the Brow Definer. All right. I'm currently using the Brow Wiz because I ran out of the Brow Definer and that's what I have on right now. It matches me pretty well. Um, I'd never really used a brow powder before, but I figured, you know, I'll give it a shot. It's super on sale. So here's the brow powder. Um, I'll probably use this in conjunction with um, the brow pomade that I got from Benefit just to try out because I've heard for pomades you really should set them. I don't know if that's true or not, but in my opinion you should probably always set a liquid that you're putting on or like anything that's kind of tacky just to make sure that it stays all day and then the last thing i picked up was the bare minerals mineral veil i did get the original mineral veil um but this is the one with the spf on it because i figured it, well, if it's not going to change the powder it says it doesn't have flashback why would i not get the one that's going to protect my skin more um and I believe that is actually everything I got, unless you want to see the free samples, which um, but yeah, so that is everything I picked up during Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I usually get a lot of views on hauls, so you guys must just really love living vicariously through me while I spend all my money on makeup. Just kidding, not all of it, but a lot. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.
拜。